The topic for this lesson is the bipolar junction transistor as a switch. In the left hand side of the figure, the transistor is in the cutoff region since the base emitter junction is not forward biased. There is, ideally, an open condition between the collector and emitter as shown in the equivalent switch diagram. In the right hand side of the figure, the transistor is in the saturation region as the base emitter junction and the base collector junction are forward biased and the established base current is large enough to cause the collector current to reach its saturation value. Ideally then, there is a short between the collector and the emitter as shown in the equivalent diagram. When the base emitter junction is not forward biased, all the currents are zero, neglecting leakage current. And V sub C E is equal to V sub C C, or V sub C E, the cutoff voltage, is equal to V sub C C. When the base emitter junction is forward biased, and enough base current is present to produce maximum collector current, the transistor is saturated. Then, I sub C, the saturation current, is equal to V sub C C minus V sub C E, the saturation voltage, divided by the collector resistance R sub C. Usually, because V sub C E is negligible compared to V sub C C, it can be neglected. The minimum value of base current is determined by the equation I sub B is equal to I sub C at saturation divided by beta. Let's look at an example. For the circuit shown, what is V sub C E when V sub I is equal to zero volts? When V sub I is equal to zero volts, the transistor is in cutoff, the open switch mode, and V sub C E is equal to V sub C C, or 12 volts. What is the minimum value of I sub B required to saturate the transistor if beta at its DC value is 150? Since the saturation voltage V sub C E is equal to zero volts, I sub C, the saturation current, is equal to V sub C C divided by R sub C, or six milliamps. Therefore, I sub B is equal to I sub C, the saturation current, divided by beta, or 40 microamps. This is the value necessary to drive the transistor to saturation. Any further increase in I sub B will drive the transistor deeper into saturation, but will not increase I sub C. Calculate the maximum value of R sub B when V sub I is equal to 10 volts. R sub B, the base resistance, is equal to voltage across that resistor, R sub B, divided by base current, I sub B, which is also equal to V sub I minus V sub B E divided by I sub B, or 232.5 k ohms.